Dr. Ashton, let's turn hey. to you and some answers now to the questions from our viewers. What different recommendations could we hear from the CDC for people who have been vaccinated? Hopefully, you guys, we might be hearing something as early as tomorrow hmm. because, again, the science is catching up with real life and they want to issue some guidelines as more people are vaccinated. What can we do? Can we behave differently? So what we expect to hear is that in small private settings, like let's say our homes, if everyone there has been vaccinated, people can have small gatherings without masks, you know, and kind of get back into the, the social life a little bit. However, until more people are vaccinated, when we go out into crowded settings, still masks, still distancing, um, and we'll see what else they say. But so many people waiting for this, you know, it's great to get that vaccine, but how will it change our day to day life is going to be important. All right. One more vaccine question here. Anything that you should do to prepare your body for the vaccine? No official guidelines on this, but we talked about here before. I have a, a history of anaphylactic reaction to food. I consulted my allergist. You know, doctors do go to doctors uh, <laughs> before I got my dose. And he actually recommended that I take an over-the-counter Zyrtec antihistamine about an hour before the vaccine, not to take Benadryl and not to premedicate with Tylenol or non-steroidals. That's kind of the, the working guidance right now. Um, but again, rest some exercise, nothing special here. All right, folks, keep your questions coming to Dr. Ashton on her Instagram at Dr. J. Ashton. Thank you, Doc. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.